In this module, you'll learn how to work with transitions. You'll learn how to add transitions, modify them, including changing their options, timings, and then removing them. Let's begin by opening up our sample presentation. Keep in mind that transitions define the way one slide changes to the next, whereas animations are visual effects applied to individual items on the slide, such as graphics, titles, or bullet points. So they're not the same. So let's go to the first slide that we're going to add a transition to, which is slide two. So we're going to click on it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up and click on the transitions tab. We'll come over to the transition to the slide group. And then we'll click on the drop down arrow to give us our gallery of transitions. There are three different types of transitions available. Subtle, which is just a minor transition. An exciting transition, which has a little bit more emphasis on it. And then you have what's called your dynamic content. Dynamic content is different than subtle and exciting transitions because it applies to all areas of the slide except for the background. So for this first transition, let's go ahead and choose random bars from subtle. As soon as we selected the random bars, it gave us a preview of how the transition was going to look. And just like when we were setting up our animations, we can come up and change the effects of the option. So if we want to do it vertical instead of horizontal, we can do that. Let's come down to our next slide. And let's go back up to the transition to the slide. And this time, let's choose a more exciting one. We'll choose an airplane. We can again change our effects, have it go left or right. We'll leave it the way it is. We'll come down to our organizational chart. And we'll do a checkerboard effect. Well, let's have it do it from top to bottom. Come down to our fifth slide. This time, let's come down to the dynamic content and we'll choose a Ferris wheel. Now go to the effect options and you can choose left or right. Come down to our last slide and we'll do a fly through. Now that we've got our transition set up, let's go back and look at our timings on them and see how we want to change those. So we'll go up to our first slide with the transition. We'll make sure we're in our transitions tab and we'll come over to the timing group. From here, we can add sound to it. We can change the duration. How long do we want that transition to last? It's set to one second, but let's make it a little bit quicker. We'll do it on mouse click, but you could tell it after so long to do it. Now you'll notice you have an option here, apply to all. If you click on this, what it's going to do is whatever you set this slide to, it's going to apply to all slides. So if you're setting up your presentation and you want the same transition through all the slides, set it up on your first slide exactly how you want it to be done and click apply to all, and then it will apply it to every slide for you. But we'll come down to our second slide. Let's speed up the duration just a little bit. Come down to our third slide and we really want to speed that one up. We don't want it to take that long during our demo. Do the same on this one and that one. Let's go up and click on our first slide with the transition on it and click preview so we can see how they're going to look. Let's click on our next one. That looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and save our presentation. Remember when you're adding transitions, you want to go to the transition tab, go to the transition to the slide group, choose the type of transition you want to add. You can then change the effect for it and come over and choose your timing. Do you want it to have a sound? Do you want to change the duration of it? Do you want it to advance on a mouse click or after a certain amount of time? And all of that is available on the transition tab. Once you have them set, you can come over and run a preview of your transitions.